We are humans. We are not perfect. We have different values, opinions, beliefs, and morals. As a nation, we need to consider these to address important issues and questions to fix certain problems that may be occurring. As a speaker, it is my part to give support and reasoning behind all of these questions and the bigger questions. And as an audience, it is your job to listen to what I have to say and answer this question for yourself. Is civil disobedience morally acceptable to make change? In my opinion, yes, it is. Civil disobedience is morally acceptable for many reasons. It is acceptable for change because it, it is nonviolent, it grabs people's attention, and it can make change starting with just one person. Civil disobedience itself is defined as a peaceful form of protest. Martin Luther King Jr. said, We have come here today to dramatize a shameful condition. This does not mean violence is necessary to make a situation important. In fact, he was against any violence, also saying, We must not allow our creative protest to degenerate into physical violence. This means that we should not let our anger get the best of us, that the fight to abolish corrupt morals should continue, but without harm. The only harm or violence that tends to occur is because of the government. Think about it. Nobody is ever completely shot down unless the government acts upon it. The government thinks they have all the power, and the only way to maintain that power is to just throw people in jail telling them they have no rights, when as citizens we have every right, and these rights come from the government itself. In Margaret Chase Smith's speech, The Declaration of Conscience, she said, I think that it is high time that we remembered that the Constitution, as amended, speaks not only of the freedom of speech, but also trial by jury, instead of trial by accusation. She is letting us know that everyone has a right, and the government should ensure these rights without making a scene. It seems as though any action that involves violence are the ones that make it on the news stories. This is mainly because the news is showing what people want to see, to capture their attention with the worst of things, the brutal and the violent things. My goal with this speech is to grab your attention, and yet this is possible without any harm being done to anyone. Civil disobedience is a great way to grab anyone's attention. It is not exactly the most exciting way, but it works. A perfect example of this is the man I continue to refer to, Martin Luther King Jr. On August 28, 1963, a huge crowd filled with tons of different people were standing waiting for this one man to make his memorable speech. He motivated change, but without the hope that there would be no harm towards the brothers and his nation. He spoke against violence, but his name is being taught at schools still to this day. Another example of this is Henry David Toro. In his speech, he explains the time he took in jail, and how instead of feeling locked up and isolated, he felt more free than ever before. In the excerpts from Civil Disobedience, he states, The proper place today the only place which Massachusetts has provided for her freer and less desponding spirits is in her prisons, to be put out and locked out of the state by her own act, as they have already put themselves out by their principles. Because the government puts him and many others in jail, they are only showing fear, which does nothing but harm themselves. Although Tora was put in jail, this caused people attention. They began to lose respect, they began to show defiance towards the government, which made a huge impact for society. Finally, Malcolm X says, and a better world has to be built, and the only way it's going to be built is with extreme methods. In this quote, he is saying that the only way to make big change is to take big actions, that drastic times call for drastic measures. Although he wasn't necessarily against violence, he greatly defied the government, not wanting anything to do with it, which also made an impact on society. These actions don't have to involve a street fight or someone being brutally beat to death to win over the eyes and ears of the audience. One person can take these kinds of actions because they know when a change needs to be made. Civil disobedience is the step to making a huge difference but starts with the courage of one person. Patrick Henry said, The battle, sir, is not to me to the strong alone. It is to the vigilant, the active, and the brave. This quote is saying that although the fight is strung towards the one brave soul who spoke up, that one person is not fighting alone. Each leader has a group of people by their sides, waiting to take the next step into the chain reaction. Just a few small words from one person leads to one thing, then the next, then the next. This is the reaction which creates the change we seek. People who have shown civil disobedience alone include Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, Gandhi, and even Jesus showed civil disobedience to create change. All of these people had different morals, beliefs, and opinions, but something they did have in common is that they were all one person, and so are you. 
I believe civil disobedience is morally acceptable to make change for these reasons. It is nonviolent, it can grasp people's attention, and it is easily done by just one person. Now give my claims and my opinions on the matter. It is your turn. Is civil disobedience morally acceptable for change? You choose.